guys welcome back it's simply amanda we're doing another freezer meal today i'm on a freezer meal kick if you ain't already noticed there's a reason behind it and i'll explain it in a few minutes during the video but today i'm going to work on a freezer meal and what i'm doing is i'm kind of clearing out the freezer clearing out the freezer pulling some old stuff out and using it and some of the stuff that i've got um oh i've got to get over there and show it to you i'll show you what i've got stuff i've pulled out of the freezer that's old that needs to be used um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe after you watch it. And if you like videos with meal prep, with freezer meals, with a woman just simply rambling because she's having the day, give me a thumbs up. Let's get this day started. So guys, we got about half a pound of, excuse me, two pounds of hamburger meat in there. Um, I've also got some sausage, Italian sausage. I didn't have it in bulk but I did have it inside the links like here. So I'm just going to cut the casings off and put them in there. You're going to need two pounds of that as well. So it's real simple to take it out of the casing. You just get it. You put a knife in it. You pull the casing up right here. Actually, I like buying this better this way because I use the whole thing when I'm making um, regular pizza. You just take it and pull it off. And you know what? I'm probably going to need a bigger pan because I guarantee you this ain't going to fit everything I need to cook up. So guys, I forgot to tell you what we're making today. We're making a low-carb pizza casserole. How on earth could I forgot to tell you that? I don't know. guys here we are done the oven's preheated 375 we're going to put that in there but if you don't want to go ahead and cook it go ahead and wrap it in saran wrap aluminum foil label it put it in your freezer pull it out thaw it and cook it but i'm actually going to cook mine like i said i prefer cooking mine ahead of time and just throwing them in the microwave so let's go ahead and get these in the oven and guys since i already have a little bit of cheese left i don't want to waste it i can't i'm not going to be using it anytime soon so i'm just going to go ahead and pour the rest of this on top so we don't waste it so it's just going to be a basically double cheesy double cheesy pizza casserole yeah don't want to waste anything i don't want to put that little bit back in there so yeah so let's get this cleaned up and popped in the oven all right y'all 
here it is fresh out of the oven it's still hot you can see it's just a little bit bubbly just a tad bit bubbly but anyway um it is very cheesy in there i know i kind of look like i overcooked it but there is some soft gooey let me show you there is some soft gooey cheese underneath that yeah so that was just the extra cheese on top but anyway um let's let this cool and i'll pull it out and i'll go ahead and tell you what i've been doing these freezer meals for and what this one tastes like y'all this house smells so so good so guys it has been cooling let's go ahead and cut into this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm gonna show you what it looks like it's truthfully y'all this is actually the first time i've made this it, it it's the first time i've ever made it so i'm kind of curious as like maybe you guys are too so let me go ahead and do this and we'll go ahead this is going to be my lunch it's going to be dinner tonight too but i'm just very curious what this is going to taste like so i'm going for the middle part <laughs> anybody else ever get the middle part out of a um casserole okay anyway let me find a so let me go ahead and pull this middle part out. Ooh, so far so good. Let's get this put over here. Show you what it looks like. Look at the detail. Mmm, y'all. Mmm. Let's go ahead and get a bite of this. Definitely get a bite. So guys, here's the detail of it. I've actually got into it just a minute ago. But anyway, I did put a little more extra sauce on it because I like extra sauce. Y'all, this is really good. I, I, I really think this is going to be a winner around here. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I honestly wish you could smell it. If you could smell this, it's amazing. But it was a great way to use up. A lot of the stuff that's in my pantry which is why i'm trying to make all these freezer meals well actually two reasons i'll be going on a trip soon and i need food in the freezer ready to pull out for richard when i'm not here so he'll have that covered as well as that i'm trying to use up the old stuff in my freezer and my refrigerator stuff that's been sitting there instead of going out and constantly rebuying stuff and putting it in there and i don't need i don't not i'm not gonna say i don't need it because if i can get it cheap I need it. I will use it eventually, but there's a lot of stuff in there I really need to get to. And with 2024 coming up, a pantry challenge, uh, yeah, that pantry challenge has already started today. Doing my best to get everything in that freezer used up. And it started with this hamburger meat, the pepperoni, the cheese I got at the discount grocery store not too long ago. That wasn't that old. Um, and the, what do you call it, the Italian sausage. So definitely, definitely, guys. And of course, um, my pizza sauce from last year, excuse me, the year before last and this year as well. So anyway, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my lunch. And thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. You guys have an amazing day. God bless.